Fox Carolina weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Fog outside this morning may impact your early commute. And while it's not everywhere, places like Asheville, Greenville, uh, those in Spartanburg and even Clemson all looking good, the places that fog has started to set up has allowed for some slower travel, some caution needing to be taken. So if you're in Cullowee, Silva, Bryson City or Waynesville, anywhere really in northeast Georgia outside of Toccoa or even down toward the southern upstate, Abbeville, Greenwood and Newberry counties, these are areas where you're a little bit more likely to see fog, though it may be in some sheltered areas all over over the place after all that overnight rain came through. We have dried out so far this morning, but we're watching for the onset of more rain and storms. It's moving from Arkansas into Mississippi and Alabama. Now central Tennessee getting slammed with rain locally. A couple sprinkles have popped up in the mountains. We are basically on repeat again from yesterday's system that will again pop up more rain and storms later in the day. So future cast shows by midday. We start to see some extra rain showers, especially for the mountains. The upstate gets in on some of that for the afternoon and early evening, but it's really not until almost after the sun sets and into tonight that more pockets of storms come into the upstate. So if you got woken up by rain last night, you may get woken up by rain again tonight, though I do expect some in the daytime as well. Some of those downpours will linger into briefly early tomorrow morning, but it should be relatively calm by the morning commute time on Thursday. Now Thursday afternoon, here we go again, more rain showers and storms build through. So so we're going to hold on to this pattern of scattered rain and storms each afternoon today, tomorrow, likely into Friday as well. It's currently in the 60s to about 70 degrees. The dew point is high. It's nearing the 70 degree mark again. So that puts us anywhere from fairly humid to fully steamy outside, and that's going to hold strong through the week as well. High temperatures today get to 88 degrees. So as storms develop, you could see some briefly gusty wind, downpours and frequent lightning. The mountains are in for a similar story with a high of 84 degrees, the rain, the storms, it all builds. So as we rate your day, it's kind of split with a decent morning and then a stormy afternoon. So I'm going with a five out of 10 on the sky meter. This is the third in a row and I expect the whole week to hold on like this. The BMW Pro-Am kicks off tomorrow, even though we've had practice rounds already. It'll be in the low 70s to start your day on Thursday, upper 80s at the end of the day. It'll be humid and the storms will again pop up in the afternoons. So we are going to continue to watch for that today, tomorrow and Friday. Saturday, we have a couple spots of rain possible, but most of the weekend will start to dry out. Next week looks a little hotter with mostly dry weather taking back over. Now it's getting